Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter and Golf Professional at Second Swing. Today I'm going to be focusing on how temperature affects the distance with a mid-iron. As a professional golfer, when I'm playing outside, I'm really trying to calculate how much shorter the ball will go when it's colder out or how much further the ball will go when it's warmer out. And we do know that the ball will go shorter when it is colder and we do know that the ball will go further, but I don't know exactly how much. So for today's test, I'm hoping to create a formula to really find out exactly what distance the ball will go further in a higher temperature or how much shorter the ball will go when it's colder out. So this will be an interesting test. We are going to test the range from 20 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll hit some shots with a seven iron at 20 degrees, 40 degrees, 60 degrees, 80 degrees, and 100 degrees and we'll take a look at the differences in the distance. If you do like this content, please do make sure that you subscribe to this channel. We have plenty of other great content coming like this way in the future. Maybe I'll throw in a driver video as well and see how the temperature affects the driver. This is some shots with irons today and take a look at some numbers. So the nice thing with TrackMan is we can adjust the settings. So right now you'll see that the setting is based at 77 degrees Fahrenheit and the altitude is at 830 feet. That is the height here in the Twin Cities up in Minnesota. But we know that the temperature is not always going to be 77 degrees. So first I'm going to start at 60 degrees. So let's switch this to 60 degrees. We'll start out at 60 and we'll change up those temperature ranges and see how the distance changes. Okay, so I'm going to hit four shots with each different temperature change. So we'll notice that my club speed was right about 84 and a half miles an hour on those four shots. So when I change up the temperature ranges, I'm going to try and swing at that very, very close to that same speed so we can take a look at the differences. At 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the ball was carrying about 177 with the 7 iron. Now let's switch it up to a much colder temperature. Let's try 20 degrees and then we'll take a look and see what happens there. Keep hitting it left today. So four more swings with the temperature at 20 degrees Fahrenheit now. I get my club speed right around that 84 and a half, 84 miles an hour. So it's gonna be a very, very close test. So let's kind of take a look real quick initially to see if there's anything that stands out to us. So you will notice that the bull did fly five yards shorter. So we went from 176.9 to 171.9. So a 40 degree temperature drop equated to about five yards. I'm going to hit shots in the other different temperature ranges now and then we'll take a look at the numbers and we'll dive deeper and see what the uh, ratio is. Let's dive deep into the numbers and find out if we picked up more distance when the temperature was warmer or if we lost distance when the temperature was cooler. Trackman would suggest a formula to go off for your average amateur golfer. Essentially, they would recommend every 10 degrees Fahrenheit increase in temperature would equal one yard further in distance. So we'll, we'll see if this is pretty close here if we take a look at the numbers kind of right off the bat here. So let's first start off with, let's first start off with 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So 60 degrees Fahrenheit is probably pretty typical for a lot of golfers when they're playing, uh, playing their rounds of golf, some, maybe teeing off early in the morning in those warmer climates. Too. So at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, I was carrying the ball 176.9. If we drop that down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so we lost 20 degrees, so TrackMan would suggest we we'll lose two yards. We'll notice spot on, 176.9 to 174.9. So that formula is pretty accurate with regards to dropping from 60 to 40. Now keep in mind, 
This is a small sample size. I didn't hit shot every shot perfect. We'll take a look at my dispersion screen up there on, on, the, on the right. And I did have a little bit of a draw going on every single time today. But it's going to be very, very close. And it's going to be a good way to educate you on how far the changes will be with regards to distance in temperature. So if we go from top to bottom, so at 20 degrees Fahrenheit, my carry, carry distance was 171.9. If we go all the way up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, my carry distance was 184.6. So I picked up about 13 yards. I picked up one club. So from a, for an 80 degree temperature change, there was one club difference. A lot of times when I'm playing out on the golf course, I don't know if it's one club or if it's half a club or a couple yards. So you'll notice if there's a huge change, there is that one club, one club difference. Keep in mind that not many golfers do play in 20 degree Fahrenheit weather. Up in Minnesota, we're kind of a hardy bunch, but uh, I'll tell you, I won't be outside playing in 20 degrees, that's for sure. But some courses really kind of do stay, stay open pretty late into December and open up as early as, early as they can in the spring. So it's going to be kind of interesting test to look at the other numbers. So from 20 degrees to 40 degrees, we had a three yard increase. From 40 to 60, we had a two yard increase. From 60 to 80, we had a five yard increase. And then from 80 to 100, we had a, about a three yard increase. So pretty accurate. It's, it's, it's pretty close to that two yards. I'd say kind of two to three yards. A lot of this might also come down to how fast a player is swinging at the golf club. If you hit the ball further, you're probably going to see a little bit more of an increase. So you might be at that top end of that kind of two yards. If you swing slower, maybe don't hit your irons quite as far, you're going to be at the bottom end of that increase. So maybe it's only one yard that you kind of pick up for every uh, one yard for every kind of jump in 20 degrees there too. So I think the formula is pretty accurate. This is an interesting test. We'll take a look at my club speed. You can see that. My club speed ranged from 84.0 to 84.4. So did my best to swing at the exact same speed across the board. Um, we'll notice that there were increases when the temperature increased. There were some decreases when the temperature decreased. I do want to take a quick look at height and landing angle because that is also very important to give yourself plenty of stopping power. So let's kind of take a look real quick and see if there's any trends that we noticed. So you will notice at the highest temperature, so at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the landing angle actually was the steepest. It was at 44.3 degrees. If we notice the trend, we can see it. then it goes to 80 degrees, then it goes to 60 degrees. And then 20 and 40 are kind of around the highest landing angle. So we notice quite a trend there from about 44.3 degrees all the way up to 49.5. So yes, there was a change in landing angle as well. And you'll notice the height as well. We can see at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the ball actually flew just a little bit lower. And then we'll notice at 20 degrees and 40 degrees Fahrenheit that the ball actually flew just a little bit higher. Now, I don't know, I can't, I don't know for sure if this is true. I want to do a little bit more testing. And I think outside that would be a good chance to kind of do the, do the testing if we can maybe hit some shots outside in the spring in, in Minnesota and, and when we get some temperature changes there to see the, the real, real, real stopping power across the board. But it's kind of really interesting to see that, that slight little trend going on there. I mean, that's quite a change from 44.3 to 49.5. And if you take a look at the dispersion pattern, I was hitting it in about the same spot. My club face was just a little bit kind of close there today to hit it just a little bit to the left side with my little draw that I like to play. But yeah, it's, it's a really interesting test. I think the takeaway is the formula of every degree of temperature change. So every 10, 10 degrees increase, you're going to pick up about a yard more carry distance. We'll notice we're pretty spot on there. If you do swing faster or hit the ball further, there may be some slight more increases. If you swing slower, don't hit the ball quite as far or maybe quite as high, the increases or the decreases may be not quite as much. So this is a fun test. I really hope you appreciate this content. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Can't wait to bring you more content in the future.